What is going on guys? It's your boy Mr. Impeller here coming at you another video today and today we're talking about the greatest green launcher in the game, the Lingering Dread. That's right, I got the God Roll auto loading clip, auto loading holster with the chill clip with the spike grenades. Absolutely insane and let me tell you right now, there is many little synergies that I would think would work with this grenade launcher and the stasis subclass and all of them have been confirmed so far. So moving on first, the one I really want to mention uh, with the chill clip is chill clip and proc anything with slows on them, alright? That's going to be crucial because our mask is slows, our aspects are slows, and some of our fragments are slows. Moving on to our first aspect I want you to take a focus on is the Grim Harvest. Defeating slowed or frozen combatants creates your stasis shards that when you pick them up, blah 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 blah, you get melee energy. These stasis shards are going to synergize extremely well if you have these three things. Elemental shards, which stasis shards count as the wells. On top of that, we get elemental charge, so when you pick up those said shards, which are everywhere because you're a stasis hunter, or a stasis whatever, you get times two charge with light. Obviously, you're going to need high energy fire to proc that, okay? But on top of that, we're actually going to be using Font of Might, because these shards are all over, we can give them all the time, we can get Font of Might, stasis weapon boost, plus high energy fire on our noob tubes, and just do insane damage. That lastly, we do are running the powerful friends for the twist point of mobility. If you do not have this, if you're not fortunate like me, font of wisdom. Whenever you pick up those shards, they will count as you know a well. So you'll get an increase, huge increase to your intellect. And now that's using this uh, with one of my other builds that didn't have a grenade launcher because it's just so good and it's it's so good. Don't skip out on it sometimes so on with the uh done with the mods we're going on to the gun again the chill clip so that makes your shards not only that this is where the secret comes in whispers of refraction with this thing defeating slowed or frozen targets grant you class ability energy whenever you kill someone with this it creates you a little bit of class ability energy on top of that, if you don't kill the target, let's say you're shooting at a red yellow bar, or even a boss, the enemies around it get slowed, the enemies around them you shoot, those all out count for your class energy back. So you can, like, your uptime is, like, getting down there, like, 5 seconds, because you have your 10 seconds, this is DPS phase, and you have, like, what, uh, however many seconds it is for your dodge again, what am I at? Uh, 29, 29, wow, get 29. But with 100%, uh, I can get this down really quick. So, yeah, get a bunch of grenade launcher kills. You know, get your frozen kills and stuff. This thing can go down 10, sometimes even 5 seconds I begin it. Just because there's such a, an abundance of enemies in one place. That I hit one of these, it's just like, boom, back. Amazing. So not only that, you're getting the uh, the boost, the plus 60 boost in mobility, resilience, recovery. So these are all hundreds. And then on top of that... For, this is only a combo for all bosses. Uh, preferably if there's unstoppable or if there's an overload, you're going to need another weapon to like unstop them again, like a scout rifle. Or like if you're using overload, you got to overload them again. So preferably, you should probably just hit them once. And then, yeah, just hit them once for this one, preferably. But if they are not an overload boss, and if they are not a barrier champion, this is how you do it. I would... Debuff them first with chill clip. Double, swap, shoot, shoot. That's how my DPS scenario is. So if we run over to... Okay, so big man spawned. Alright, so this is what I would do. I don't have my dodge yet. Alright, so I have dodge yet. This is what I would do. So I'd hit him. Double hit, swap, reload. Or it's supposed to auto reload by there. But you, theoretically, you're supposed to auto reload before you hit that. And then swap back. And then... That would be your ideal, uh, your ideal damage phase. And as you can see in the bomb left, my thing just went up, up, and up for slow kills. 